gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and coming at you guys back again once again, ladies and gentlemen, with another epic and hyped as hell video coming in the form of Mega Crasher creates a Mega! Woo! We take a rewind trip, ladies and gentlemen, all the way back to Generation 5, and we take a look at a very, very unique Pokemon. This Pokemon, with its typing, in combination with its ability, makes it so this Pokemon generally has no type weaknesses. I'm talking about none other than Electros, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not the only thing it has going for it, okay? It has a really solid move pool, has really solid stats, and it has a badass design. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it just barely, barely falls short when it comes to really solid competitive Pokemon in high tier battle. If you're a small gun battle like myself, or even if you are a casual battle spot player or a VGC player, you would not see this Pokemon being played much, if not at all. Making it, unfortunately, one of the more forgettable Pokemon when you're choosing your competitive team. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to make this Pokemon go from being forgettable to being unbelievably unforgettable, man. So, strap yourselves in, let's save for 25 likes, turn on notifications, and let's do this! Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so before we get on to the main event of the video, we gotta go over the regular Pokemon before giving it its Mega Evolution first, okay? So we take a look at regular Electra. See what I mean about it having a badass design, man? We'll take a look at this. Its typing is that of pure electric, meaning you only got one weakness, that being the ground, and because of its ability, Levitate, which allows for it to avoid being damaged by ground type moves, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You have yourself a Pokemon with no type weaknesses. And we get to the stats, okay? Okay. It's got 85 for the HP, 115 on the attack, 80 in both the defense and special defense, 105 for special attack, and 50 on the speed. So unfortunately, it's not going to be known as the fastest Pokemon around, but it more than makes up for the lack of speed with its offensive powers, its defensive powers, and its move pool and more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to amplify this crazy shit up by a lot. So now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you... Mega Electron! Aw, oh, snap, man! Woo! That is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to present you guys with Mega Electros, okay? And I just gotta say, man, I really dig this design in more ways than one, and we are about to make this design work, okay? First off, you take a look at the design. We don't see anything overly crazy changed about it, but we do have it making it look more ferocious, okay? And on top of that, we have a bunch of cute little dynamos swimming around it as part of the Mega Evolution. Now, we get to the typing. I decide to rebrand the typing to electric and water, something that in my opinion makes a little bit more sense for Mega Electros, given the fact that Electros is an electric eel, and electric eels do generally live in water, so I'm like, alright, let's make it an electric water typing, and then we get to the ability known as Parental Bond, and I just gotta say that this Pokemon with Parental Bond Oh man, this is gonna be a deadly Pokemon, okay? Mega Kangaskhan, you ain't the only Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution and now access to Parental Bond, baby. Move the hell on over because now there's a new Mega Pokemon in town with that ability. But I decided to tweak this ability up a little bit more, okay? So you know how Parental Bond originally works. is that every single move that you use hits twice and the second hit dealing a lot less damage. I believe it got reduced to 25% this generation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to add another factor on it to this ability, meaning that the damage that you take from all moves gets reduced by 25%, right? So, we are talking about a buff from a defensive standpoint when it comes to this ability, while you still get to keep the offensiveness of this ability. So, this Pokemon with Parental Bond, woo! Man, oh man, alive. This Pokemon is going to be scaring the shit out of its competitors big time. And now we get to the stats, okay? The HP is going to remain the same at base 85. Should kind of go without saying. But then we get to the attack and special attack. Both are going to get a buff to base 135 apiece. And the defense and special defense are both going to get a huge buff to base 105 apiece. And then the speed is going to be left at 50. I want to keep the slowness of this Pokemon while capitalizing on buffing up its bulk and buffing up its offensive prowess. Now, aside from all of that, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't even done with that yet, man, because now this Pokemon has access to the likes of Ice Beam, Ice Punch, Scald, Surf, Waterfall. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. 
This Pokemon now has access to ice and water type moves also. It can make use of Skull for God's sakes, and you combine that with Parental Bond, you now have two for the price of one when it comes to moves with a secondary effect, okay? Like, Skull has a 30% chance to burn the opponent. Well, because of Parental Bond allowing for you to use that attack two times over, uh, you now have a much higher increased chance of burning your opponents alive. Woo! Man, oh man, smoke on VGC! Battle spot, look out, baby! Because this Pokemon is taking the fuck over, man. Woo! Woo! Man, oh man. I am sweating like a pig, baby. Woo! That video was hot. It was intense, and I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys all very, very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you guys did, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. It's like I said at the beginning of the program. Let's say for 25 likes. And don't forget also to turn on notifications. That way you're the first to know when you see me upload next. And if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe, support, and stay positive. As well as knowing the fact that once you subscribe to a community like ours, we are a community that's tightly packed and tightly knit with a whole bunch of passion, whole bunch of energy, whole bunch of insanity, whole bunch of inspiration, entertainment, and appreciation all around, man. And we're also a community that's tightly packed and tightly knit with one we shot much brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thank you very much for watching. And if you guys want to see your boy Mega Crasher create more Mega Evolutions for you, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section down below, man. Because this right here is a community based series as well. Woo! Thank you guys very much for watching the video and I'll see you next upload. Woo! Much love to you all.